Hi, this is Natalie with The Fifth Journey. I'm going to be going over why beeswax does not mix well with melt and pour bases when you're creating your own soaps at home. I'm using a high quality melt and pour base and these are not pretty bars because I'm sampling with different essential oils. So excuse that look, but I wanted to go over why, again, the beeswax does not work. Because I do use honey and a lot of my bases. Um, so I thought, you know, we have our own hives. I would try putting a little beeswax in. I found a few recipes online using up to a teaspoon of beeswax for four ounces of melt and pour base. And I used about half of that because I just want to see what happened. As you can see, these three, I did use some beeswax in them. Again, they are not pretty bars. So you can see the color is um, quite a bit more yellow. This one is exactly the same additives as these three, but it does not have the beeswax in it. So you can see the color difference there. Also, these are very cloudy. I used a clear MP base and also essential oil and some oatmeal and some honey. So I will show you, you can see how these bars are not very smooth. And when I took them out of my mold, it peeled a little bit on them. Where this one, even though I've been touching it a lot, is very smooth. It's not quite as shiny because I have been touching it. But the main thing is the beeswax seems to soften the bar quite a bit. So on this one, this is the one where I did not use the beeswax. I'm going to squeeze it and there's very little give. I'm squeezing pretty hard. See how my fingers are going white. So I'm squeezing pretty darn hard and it's not giving. This one does have the beeswax. It's not very much beeswax in it. It's about uh, one gram. And I'm going to find a spot that I haven't pressed on already, but right there, I'm not pushing very hard. See, and see how it's just giving, it's just mush. Now these bars, I would not sell to anybody. They do still work. I have used one in the shower. There is, a, the lather has gone down a bit. Um, but that's just a mushy bar. So I would not recommend using beeswax in any melt and pour bases.